Hi! So, I tried to do this introduction earlier and... Hi guys! Okay, now this is weird. No. Hi! So... No, this is... No. It was not good, because I've never really recorded any videos, and I mean this still isn't good, but... Yeah, uh, so I'm gonna try again. My name is Madison, and actually... Come here! Come here! This is Riley. This is my dog. She's very sweet. I am starting this kind of vlog, I guess, because I want to keep track of... Or, I don't know, I want to keep record of my kind of journey with the ACL recovery and things like that. Because I, 12 days ago actually, I tore my ACL, I was rock climbing. I'm not really an athlete, like, I'm just, I was just kind of recreationally rock climbing. It's something that I've recently gotten into, and back there you can, you can see my shoes, um, that I, they're hanging up high because I can't use them right now. But I just recently got into rock climbing and really just, like, kind of started working out more. I'd been into rock climbing for a couple weeks, and then I was doing this problem and I fell and um, and I'm just making this kind of video series so I can remember and put it out here because I know I'm looking at videos like crazy of like my ACL recovery, my ACL journey, like I want to know what it's like and so I'm just adding it to the table and I haven't really seen anything that's like people who aren't athletes um, or aren't serious athletes, just like I'm just, you know regular college student. I like to hike. I like to rock climb. Um, and I, that's about it. Just kind of recreationally, just a little bit. And I'm going to talk about my recovery and story about tearing my ACL and trying to get back from it. And so that's, this is the start of that. And I'm kind of excited to get into it because I actually like doing video stuff, even though it's not really anything related to what I do but it's kind of fun. So yeah, thanks for watching. And I guess the actual stuff will come after this. So when I tore my ACL, I was rock climbing and it was the day after my 21st birthday. And what I had been doing is I'd go and I'd rock climb. I have a membership at a, at a climbing gym and I'd go and rock climb for like 30 minutes or whatever I was feeling like and just do some of the problems, the boulder problems that I felt like I could do and felt comfortable doing. And um, then I would go to the gym part and use their machines and weights, whatever. Um, I hadn't actually really gotten into weights before I tore my ACL. I started that afterwards. But I'd been going for a couple weeks and went in that day, did a couple problems, it was fine. And then I got on this one that I'm gonna try to put a clip in, a picture in. I'm gonna go and try and take one tonight when I go to the gym. I don't know, so they changed the boulder problem, so it might not be there anymore. I was getting better at it, but I still hadn't completed it yet, and I tried it a couple times, was, like, figuring out how to do it. I had my feet planted on the rocks, and I guess, like, my grip wasn't very good, and I lost my grip, and I fell, and I f people say they hear a pop. I don't know if I heard a pop, but I felt something wrong in my knee, and it hurt, and it sh just kind of shocked me more than anything. I'm, like, trying to get up because it's also embarrassing because I fell. Um, and this guy's like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> and he's like, is your knee okay? And I'm like, that's a weird, I mean, I knew my knee hurt, but I was like, that's a weird question. It's fine, it's fine. He's like, good, we don't want any injuries here. And I was like, yeah, definitely not. And then I limped off and went to the bathroom and started crying. And so I texted my friend and I was like, well, I can get those drinks sooner because I'm done working out. And I left and I went to go drive to meet her just at like a sports bar or whatever. The whole time there, I was like, crying or trying not to cry and like my knee was just uncomfortable it actually didn't hurt that much it hurt when it happened I think um like I felt pain when it happened mostly I felt like something was wrong like I just felt it move wrong um and it was kind of hurting in the car just more like uncomfortable while I was driving over um but I was like it's fine it's fine it's fine um but I was just freaking out I went to go pick her up and I was um tried to calm down pretty much calm down and then I was when I was getting out of the car like I felt my knee slip like, I don't know, I just felt it, like, shift as I was getting out of the car when I tried to stand on it, and I was, like, 
I knew that. I was like, no, I know something's wrong. I was an athletic trainer for three years. I know people who tore their ACL and they're like, yeah, I heard the pop or like, yeah, it's just not stable. And I, I knew what to look for. And I knew that something wasn't right. And so I thought about it and it was kind of late. And I was like, I'm going to go to urgent care and get it checked out and see what they think. And I go to the urgent care and they're like, we can't take an x-ray, but you can get checked out. And I'm like, I am actually fine. I, in my mind, I was thinking like, I'm fine. I don't need an x-ray. I'm going to go in. They're going to be like, yeah, it seems fine. Like just ice it. And then, um, if it doesn't get better, they're like, you need an x-ray. Like we don't know what to tell you. You need an x-ray. And so they gave me, um, this little, uh, I, I'm sure if anyone who's watching this is on any injury knows, um, oops, uh, knee mobilizer, wraps around your knee, keeps it straight. Uh, they gave me that and I was, they also gave me my crutches, um, crutches, uh, they gave me my crutches and were like, you need to go to the emergency room and get an x-ray. And so I was like, okay, fine. I will go get an x-ray and get checked out and then they'll tell me that it's nothing. So we went to the ER, waited, we, we were there for like less than an hour. Um, I was pretty impressed and I got some x-rays done in the bed of my knee. The ER doc comes in, he's like, your x-rays looked fine, like the radiologist will look at them, but otherwise like, and if you don't hear back from us, your x-rays are fine, there's no fracture, so I'm not really worried. Um, your knee seems pretty stable, so just keep the brace on for one more day and then see how you feel in one to two weeks and if it doesn't get better like go check it out. The when I woke up the next morning I couldn't really bend my leg without pain and I was still limping. Went to the orthopedic surgeon expected him to say like oh it's maybe your meniscus let's just get it checked out or something. So the ER doc was like yeah your ligaments are fine and I went into the, ortho to the orthopedic surgeon three minutes afterwards like he was in out in three minutes he felt my legs did the little like tests they do like pulling it whatever um and testing ligaments and he was like i'm worried no actually i'm almost certain you tore your acl so get an mri and we'll talk surgery next time i see you and i was like great great i was babysitting i had the kid i, I nanny with me she's like six and i was like trying not to cry and she, she was on her ipad she didn't care if i cried or not but I was like, that's not what I was expecting. Get the MRI done on that Saturday. Waiting a couple of the appointments on Wednesday. I had the MRI on a Saturday and then my follow up was that next Tuesday. So like waiting was really, really hard. Get the results on Tuesday. I actually got the results on Monday. I called, I'm not patient. She just read the results to me and there was something about bone bruises and something else. And it was like complete tear of the ACL. That's when I cried some more and went in, met with the doctor, we talked about surgery, and that's pretty much where I am now. Maybe I'll talk a little bit more about the um, therapy that I've done so far. I'm doing some uh, prehab before the surgery. My surgery is in nine days. So right now I'm just kind of waiting, getting my other legs stronger, back to full range of motion, which it almost is. Like, I mean, if you can see, I can bend it, I can straighten it. like. It doesn't really hurt me. Um, it's it's doing pretty well. Another thing, I said that I was going to talk about my physical therapy exercises. I've only been to PT once. So I'll only go one more time before I have the surgery. But I'm just kind of doing prehabilitation exercises to try and get my legs strong and ready for surgery so I can recover better. And so this is kind of what I've been doing. So that's going to be after this.
I guess the last thing I told you how I did it I told you what I'm doing to get ready for surgery but one thing I haven't really talked about is how I'm feeling and it's been really hard I know it's not gonna put me out I know that I'm gonna be able to do a lot of stuff and it's not gonna be as detrimental as I'm anticipating and um, in the grand scheme of things what's a year or two of recovery but it definitely has been hard it's been hard picking the type of graft I wanted because I didn't know and decision was kind of made for me I guess actually I'm doing a hamstring graft and I'm doing that because the patellar graft is not a good option for me because sometimes like I heard that it can cause pain with kneeling and my doctor said sometimes that does happen so we are not going to do that because I'm planning to be work in early childhood education and so like three four year old little kids kneeling down on the ground with them a lot and I don't want the pain with kneeling so I chose hamstring graft and I'm a little worried about that I know there could be some tightness and you kind of have to recover your hamstring along with your ACL and so I'm kind of worried about that but I hear it's one of the best and regardless I know for someone young just having a graft from your own body instead of a cadaver is a pretty good option if that's an option for you. So I feel confident about it and actually my physical therapist said she thinks that hamstring grafts are the best so that was kind of comforting too but the decision was hard it's just been hard knowing that I got hurt and it really wasn't that bad and I didn't expect it to be my ACL and then it was and now I'm almost completely back to full range of motion. I can do pretty much everything. I'm not jogging. I still can't walk downstairs. I have to do the like two feet on the step at a time when I go downstairs. Upstairs is fine but down. I can't do that without pain and I can't squat. Um, or bend down quickly because that causes pain but other than that I'm pretty much back to normal walking hiking really doing everything that I can as much as I can do before the surgery because I know it's gonna be a while before I can hike again there's a lot of hills in Austin and good places to hike good trails to hike on so I'm kind of trying to take advantage of that before I can't do that for a little while but it's hard it's hard knowing I have all this and in, in uh, a week yeah, like in a week, that's all gonna be taken away. But I know that this, it's a year or two. I'm gonna try and get through the recovery, do my rehab, and hopefully this puts me out on the other side of it. If anything, at least a little more dedicated. I mean, I know you have to do the rehab exercises like every day, so. Hopefully I get something out of it. I mean, I know it sucks It's for anyone that's torn their ACL or it just happened, you're about to have surgery or you already have, like, it sucks. I'm sure everyone could agree on that and I don't even know the half of it yet because I haven't had the surgery. But I'm trying to be more positive about it because I've had my kind of like down and worried and depressed about it. And so I'm trying to go into it positive. I know that that can help. So I guess we'll see if I stick with that. I don't know. Um, I, I don't really have anything else that I'm going to be doing before surgery. I have one more appointment with my PT just to, um, see how my prehab is going. And then I have this surgery on next Monday. So in seven, in like seven days, I have the surgery. So I'll probably wrap it up here actually. And then the next video I do will be surgery, day of surgery, maybe the day before, the day after probably mostly about the surgery and how I feel then. Um, so yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching. Um, if you do want to know more about, if you want to follow my story, hopefully I keep up with it. Um, then you can subscribe and I'll do my best to update and be as informative as I can. So yeah, thanks for watching.